Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you uh, the technique that I use to remove this CV axle uh, from this vehicle. So this car is a 2010 Chevy uh, HHR. Um, so this is a front wheel drive uh, vehicle and uh, it uses what's called a CV axle as you can see here. Um, these things can be tricky to come out. This car is a 2010 so this one came out pretty easy. Um, but there are some uh, definite techniques that you need to use um, in order to get this out. There's not a whole lot holding it in. It's uh, basically a uh, clip that's on the transmission side. And when this is slid in, uh, that clip engages and holds it in place. So getting it out is just a matter of kind of prying it out. This is the tool that I used. Uh, you can see it's not a automotive tool. It's more of a carpentry tool. Um, but the main uh, point that I wanted to make is that it's got this little hook on it. Uh, what I found is that trying to use something like this, just a standard pry bar, really, um, it's really difficult to kind of get in there or behind it because you, you need to pop it out, I guess. So having something like this with a hook, you don't have to use this particular type. You can use anything, you know, a pry bar that's got a hook on it like that. Um, and then basically what we're trying to do is get it behind here and use the transmission itself as leverage to be able to uh, remove it that way. Um, so let's take a look at the transmission uh, a little bit closer. I'll show you uh, the clip that actually holds it in place. So as you can see, I have this wheel hub assembly completely disassembled. Um, so in order to remove the CV axle, we need to disconnect it from the wheel hub here uh, and the rotor and the brake and all that good stuff. And this guy fits right in here like that. So in this particular case, there is nothing uh, actually wrong with the CV axle. Um, I do need to remove this transmission side cover um, in order to access some parts inside. So that's why I needed to, to uh, remove this. Um, so let's take a, a closer look. This is the side of the transmission here, and um, this shaft is what actually uh, drives the CV axle. Again, this is a front wheel drive car. Um, it's not all wheel or four, four wheel drive, it's just front wheel. Um, so around here we have a, a rubber uh, bushing, um, and then on this shaft is a little clip um, that goes around it, and that clip is what engages inside of here. There's kind of like a groove in there. So in order to get this guy out, it's really just a matter of uh, disengaging that clip and it sort of just pops out. So one thing to keep in mind when you do this, when you remove the actual axle from the transmission, you will get fluid, um, transmission fluid that leaks out. So just make sure that before you pull it out that you have something to uh, catch it with. So I have a little oil catch basin here with a, a pan underneath it just in case. Okay, so taking a closer look at this, this is the uh, transmission side. Um, so we can see where the CV axle plugs into. This is the uh, retaining clip here that holds it in place. So when this guy goes back in, this retaining clip, uh, we need to make sure that that engages. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be removing this whole side cover here. Um, but if you weren't, um, now would be a good time to kind of inspect this rubber boot here and make sure this is in good shape. Um, take a look at this clip also. I don't know if they recommend replacing this every time you remove the CV axle itself. Um, but in this case, it looks pretty good. Again, this car is a 2010, so everything on this car pretty much came apart fairly easy. Um, but I'm going to do some research and uh, see what that replacing that is about. I'm sure it's uh, pretty easy and it might be worth doing, but um, the important thing to note is that when you reinstall it, it's uh, very important that this clip re-engages inside of the uh, CV axle itself um, because that is what holds it in. Um, and if it doesn't um, engage, it's just gonna pull out. So when you reinsert it, you may hear a little click. Um, the bottom line is that you shouldn't be able to pull it back out by hand. Um, if you can, then you know it's not engaged. All right, so let me show you how I actually got this out. Um, again, it didn't take a lot of force, just a matter of getting the pry bar in the right spot, uh, a couple little wax. Now I did 
pry uh, a little bit from the top and then uh, and then I got it from the uh, bottom side. Um, but the bottom line is that if you don't get this whole thing out in one piece, if it uh, uh, if you or it separates from the boot here, um, then it becomes a kind of a problem because you need to um, rig up some kind of tool that you can attach to this uh, case and be able to pull it out of the uh, transmission. So um, hopefully your clip or your axle is not kind of stuck in place um, and it comes out easy. Um, and it should if, uh, I mean, this one did come out pretty easy. So. Let's take a look at how I got this out. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's how it came out. Again, uh, putting it back in, make sure that that clip engages. Make sure that you inspect the clip and that rubber boot around the transmission itself um, because that can be a point where transmission fluid can leak out. So when you put it back together, just make sure that everything is in good shape and uh, replace anything else that needs to be replaced. Um, but that's pretty much it. I hope this video helps you and uh, good luck.